Hello, Hari Om. Good morning to everybody in the US. Good evening to everybody in India. Uh, welcome to uh, Stotra Bodha series talk number 12. So today we have a distinguished guest, uh, Sri Ashwath, who is going to talk to us on Takshinamurti Stotram of Shankara. And he will touch upon aspects of religion and uh, philosophy. So welcome to the program and we'll get started with the Veda Kusumanjali. So Vasan sir, please. Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Om Badhram Karne Be Sunyama Deva Madhram Vashe Vakya Bhirjatra Stirai Rangai Sushtova Gundas Narubihe Vashe Madeva Hitain Yadayohu Sustina Indro Bradasava Sustina Pusha Vishwaveda Sustina Stark Show Arishta name him Sustino Brahaspater Dadhatu Om Shanti 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 Om Magne Naha Sapatha Raye Asman Vishwani Deva Vayanani Vidwan Yasma Juhuran Hameno Bhuishtante Namabuktim Vidhema Om Shanti 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 Om Abrahman Brahmano Brahma Vatasi Jayatam Arashtra Rajanyaha Sura Ishavyoti Vyadi Maharato Jayatam Dogri Denuho Odhan Advan Asusaptihi Purandhir Yosha Jishnara Teshtha Sabeyo Yuva Asya Ejamana Sabiro Jayadam Nikame Nikame Nahabadjanyana Varshatu Palavatyona Boshadaya Pachyantam Yogakshemona Kalpetam Om Shanti 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 Om Apyayandu Mamangani Vakranas Chakshuhu Sotramato Balamindriyani Sarvani Sarvam Brahmo Banishadam Baham Brahmanira Kuryam Mama Brahmanira Karotu Anira Karanam Astu Anira Karanam Me Astu Tadatman in the Opanishad Sudharma, Tema is unto, Tema is unto, Om Shanti 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 Om your Brahmanam, Vidadati Purvam, your my Vedam, Shavam, the He Nated as my Tamha Deva Matna Buddhi Prakasham, Mukshurvai Sharanam Hamkavadhi. Tachina Murta Yermaha Om Putibi Shanta Sagina Shanta Same Shanta Suchagum Shamayato Anta Dixagum Shantam Dadvayuna Shantam Tanme Shantagum Suchagum Shamayato Jo Shanta Saditian Shanta Same Shanta Suchagum Shamayato Tivi Shanti, Ranta Rikshagum Shanti, Jo Shanti, Disha Shanti, Avantra Disha Shanti, Radnish Shanti, Vaya Shanti, Radit Shanti, Sindra Mashanti, Nakshatani Shanti, Rava Shanti, Rosha de Shanti, Ravana Spate Shanti, Gaudan, Tirida Shanti, Tashwa Shanti, Purusha Shanti, Brahma Shanti, Brahmana Shanti, Shanti, Reva Shanti, Shanti, Rme Atu Shanti. Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tatsat. Thank you, thank you so much, Vasan sir. So now I'll uh, play the Sangeeta Anjali by Political Academy students. So the first one will be Lingashakam by Harshini, Nila, Nami. and Sahasra. And then the second prayer will be on Guru Guha by Yalini and Shristi. Uh, 
I request everybody to mute if you're not talking. We're going to start with a small prayer to Lord Ganesha followed by Lingashtaka. Shuklam Bharadaram Vishnu Shashivarnam Chatur Bhujam Prasanda Vadhanam Dhyaye Sarva Vigno Pashantaye Tum, 
पाहिमं संगीत श्यामले सर्वदाने जननी चिंतिता तप्रदे चित्तरूपीनी शिवे श्री गुरु गुहसे विते शिव मोहाकारे संतातम पाहिमं संगीत श्यामले सर्वदाने जननी So next, uh, we'll have uh, the rendering of uh, Dakshinamurti Stotram. Uh, so we'll start with uh, rendering from Satyashri Nagendra. Atha Stotram Vishwam darpana drushyamana nagari tulyam nijantar gatam Pashyanatmani mayaya bahiri vo bhutam yatha nidraya Yasakshat kurute prabodha samaye swatmana mevadvayam Tasmai shri guru murtaye namaidam shri dakshina murtaye Bijasyantari vankuro jagadidam prangnir vikalpam punaha Maya kalpita desha kala kalana vai chitya chitri krutam Maya viva vijrum bhayatya pimaha yogi vaya svechaya Tasmai shri guru murtaye namaidam shri dakshina murtaye Yes, yay was puranam sadat magmasat kalparta kambhasate sakshatatvamasiti veda vachasa yo bhoda yat yashritan yet sakshat karanad bavena punara vruptir bhavambo nidau tasmai shri guru murtaye namaidam shri dakshina murtaye Nana Chidra Gato Darasti Tamaha Deepa Prabhabha Swaram Gnanam Yasya Tu Chakshura Di Karana Dwara Bahis Pandate Jana Meeti Tameva Banta Manuba Etat Samastam Jagat Tasmai Shri Guru Murtaye Namaidam Shri Dakshina Murtaye Deham Pranam Apindriyanya Pichalam Buddhin Chashunyam Viduhu Stri Balandha Jadopamastvahamiti Bramta Prusham Vadinaha Maya Shakti Vilasa Kalpita Maha Vyamoha Samparine Tasmai Shri Guru Murtaye Namaidam Shri Dakshina Murtaye 
ರಾಹುಗ್ರಸ್ತ ದಿವಾಕರೇಂದು ಸದೃಶೋ ಮಾಯಾ ಸಮಚ್ಛಾದನಾ ಸನ್ಮಾತ್ರ ಕರಣೋಪಸಂಹರಣತೋ ಯೋ ಭೂತ್ ಸುಷುಪ್ತ ಪುಮಾನ್ ಪ್ರಾಗಸ್ವಾಸ್ಮಿತಿ ಪ್ರಬೋಧ ಸಮಯ ಯಭಿಜ್ಞಾತೆ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಯಿದ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಬಾಲ್ಯಾಶ್ವಿಜಾಗ್ರದಿಷು ತಸ್ವಸ್ವಸ್ಥಾಸ್ವೀ ವ್ಯಾವೃತ್ತಸ್ವನುವರ್ತಮಹಮಿತ್ಯಂ ತಸ್ಫುರಂತ ಸದಾ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮನ ಪ್ರಕಟೀಕರೋತಿ ಭಜತ ಯೋ ಮುದ್ರೆಯ ಭದ್ರೆಯ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಯಿದ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ವಿಶ್ವ ಪಶ್ಯತಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕಾರಣತ ಸ್ವಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸಂಬಂಧತ ಶಿಷ್ಯಾಚಾರ್ಯತ ತತೈವಪಿತೃಪುತ್ರೇದತ ಸ್ವಪ್ನೆ ಜಾಗೃತಿ ವಾಯು ಪುರುಷೋ ಮಾಯಾ ಪರಿಭ್ರಾಮಿ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಯಿದ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಘೋರಂ ವಾಂಸ್ಯನಲೋ ನಿಲೋಂಬರ ಮಹರ್ನಾಥೋ ಹಿಮಾಂಶು ಪುಮಾನ್ ಇತ್ಯಾತಿ ಚರಾಚರಾತ್ಮಕ ಮೂರ್ತ್ಯಷ್ಟಕ ನಾನ್ಯತ್ಕಿಂಚನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ವಿಮೃಷತ ಯಸ್ಮತ್ಪರಸ್ಮಿಭೋ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಯಿದ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮಿತಿ ಸ್ಫುಟೀಕೃತ ಯಸ್ಮುಷ್ಮಿಸ್ತವೇ ತೇನಾಶ್ರವಣಾತದರ್ಥಮನ್ಯಾನಾಚಕೀರ್ತನ ಸರ್ವಾತ್ಮತ್ವಮಹಾಭೂತಿ ಸಹಿತ ಸ್ಯಾದೀಶ್ವರ ಸ್ವತ ಸಿದ್ಧೆ ತತ್ಪುನರಷ್ಟಿಣತ ಚೈಶ್ವರ್ಯಮ್ಯಾಹತ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ವಿರಚಿತ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಅಷ್ಟಕ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಗುರುಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ದ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಅನೀಶ್ Hello, my name is Nish Kalyam. I'm in 7th grade attending school at John Warden Middle School, Columbia, Missouri. Today, I'll be reciting three shlokas in praise of Shri Dakshina Murthy. Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Hyom Om Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwaraha Guru Sakshat Parabrahma Tasmai Shri Guru Ve Namaha ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವೋಕಾಶ್ಯಜೇವಿಧ್ಯಾಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸ್ಪತ್ತಿಕಲಜಿತವರ್ಣಿಕ್ಷಮಾರೃತಕಳಸ ವಿದ್ಯಾಘ್ರಾನಮುದ್ರ ಕಳಾಬ್ಜೈ ದೂರ್ವಕಕ್ಷ ಚಂದ್ರಚೂರ ತ್ರಿನೇತ್ರ ಪಿದೃತ ವಿವಿಧಭೂತಭೂಷ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಮೀ ದೇ ಮಹೇಶ್ ದೂರಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಮೈ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಹೇಶ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಸೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಫ್ಯೂ ಶ್ಲೋಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮೂಲೆ ವಟಸ್ಯ ಮುನಿಪುಂಗವಸೇವ್ಯಮಾನ ಮುದ್ರಾ ವಿಶೇಷ ಮುಕುಲೀಕೃತ ಪಾಣಿ ಪದ್ಮ 
ಮಂದಸ್ಮಿತ ಮಧುರವೇಷ ಮುದಾರ ಮಾಧ್ಯಂ ತೇಜಸ್ತದಸ್ತು ಹೃದಯೇ ತರುಣೇಂದ್ರ ಚೂಡಂ ಕರ್ಪೂರ ಗಾತ್ರ ಅರವಿಂದ ದಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ಕರ್ಪೂರ ಶೀತಲ ಹೃದ ಕರುಣಾವಿಲಾಸ ಚಂದ್ರಾರ್ಧಶೇಖರ ಅನಂತ ಗುಣಾಭಿರಾಮ ಇಂದ್ರಾದಿ ಸೇವ್ಯ ಪದ ಪಂಕಜಮೀಷಮೀಡೆ ಕಪರ್ದಿಣ ಚಂದ್ರಕಲಾವತ ಸಂತ್ರಿನೇತ್ರ ಇಂದು ಪ್ರತಿಮಾ ಅಕ್ಷಿತಾಜ್ವಲ ಚತುರ್ಭುಜ ಜ್ಞಾನದಕ್ಷಸೂತ್ರ ಪುಸ್ತಹಸ್ತ ಹೃದಿ ಭಾವೇತ್ ಶಿವ ವಾಮೋರಿ ಸಂಸ್ಥಿತ ಗಿರಿಸುತ್ತ ಅನ್ಯೋನ್ಯಮಿಂಗಿ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಉತ್ ಫಲಧಾರಿಣೀ ಶಶಿನಿ ಭಾಂ ಚಾಲೋಕಯಂತ ಶಿವ ಆಶ್ಲಿಷ್ಟೇನ ಕರೇಣ ಪುಸ್ತಕಮತೋ ಕುಂಭಂ ಸುಧಾ ಪೂರಿ ಮುದ್ರಾ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯೀ ದಾನಮಪರೈ ಮುಕ್ತಾಕ್ಷಮಾಲಂಭೇ ವಟತರು ನಿಕಟ ನಿವಾಸ ಪಟುತರ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನ ಮುದ್ರಿತ ಕರಾಬ್ಜ ಕಂಚನ ದೇಶಿಕ ಮಾಧ್ಯಂ ಕೈವಲ್ಯಾನಂದ ಕಂದಲಂ ವಂದೇ ಇತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ನವರತ್ನಮಾಲಾ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ಲಿ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಮಹೇಶ್ ಗುಡ್ ಪ್ರೊನೌನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿ ಕೆನ್ introduce the speaker nana you want to please introduce to yashwat garu so today we have a wonderful celebration deriving the grace and support of sri dakshina murti lord shiva is nataraja and he is the gnana murti and his consort parvati is the gnana prasuna ambika we have, so we derive her blessings and moreover the children born in america are able to you have seen them how they are able to be pronounce uh, our sanskrit sounds and and give us lot of uh, devotional feeling in us so complimenting them now i request i mean i invite i welcome sri aswath garu already he has been very much familiar to us and he last month also we had a wonderful discourse by Uh, aswath garu and uh, it is really proverbial and classical and there are so many appreciative and also feedback to him and to us also but now, today again when i was talking to sri aswath garu something about adarshana murti he volunteered to talk about adarshana murti full course for a good time and which was a, such a great occasion because he has been um, Uh, giving a lot of talks and teaching veda purana maha all scriptures and everywhere he has got a large number of followers families together in almost all the places in america and all that not only that he is uh, was also a purohit like he performs uh, the vivaham upanayanam and all these things besides uh, other things so anyway he is uh, oriented very much religiously and he is a student uh, of bangalore sanskrit college i was told that eight years he was there in bangalore so from that culture we have one more uh, star in america and he is doing a wonderful job not much taking my time because this dakshina murti stotram is very popular if not we have to make it popular because we all are all interested in the gnanam in the wisdom and uh, um dhi and therefore sankaracharya has given us a beautiful stotram which you have heard eight, only eight shlokas 
and uh, they are simply very powerful and that all the eight slokas have been melodiously musically recited by the satyasri a veda student in away in bangalore very sincere and just i asked her she has uh, readily agreed to give it us and uh, and there sankaracharya has given to us three important points manana dhyana and sankirtana so these are the three things which will, by through which we will be very closer to uh, dakshina murti and in fact dakshina dakshina aradhya darasmera mukhambuja dakshina murti manognaya namo namaha etc we see how much close is parvati devi to her husband especially in the aspect of dakshina murti and also it is known that when lord shiva faces uh, the southern direction south then he becomes a gnana murti normally we face the shivalinga shiva towards north and then east but it is special when he turns to dakshina uh, direction dakshina dikku and therefore is called dakshina murti and there are many other meanings also for the word dakshina and uh, Ashwath Garu will be able to explain and not taking much time. I will have something to add if at all or make some comment if at all on the basis of the discourse contentful of by Sri Ashwath. I welcome him. Namaste, sir. Welcome. Please go ahead. Namaste. Om Shri Vrabhyo Namaha Hari Om सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीर्यंकरवाह तेजस्वीनवधीतवस्थुमा विषावह ओं शाति 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 सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा मै वेरी रेस्पेक्टफुल थैंक्स टू डॉक्टर प्रभाकर गारू वॉज बीन वेरी खाइंड टू एंड वेरी वेरी लॉन्ग फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन एंड एंड देन टू आंजने प्रसाद हु हु मै कंसिडर एज वन ऑफ माई ओन चिल्ड्रन एंड सो आई एम हैपी Uh, to be amidst all of you i have been asked to speak on uh, the religion and the philosophy of the dakshina murti stotra uh, at the outset i must confess that this is an extremely daunting uh, project extremely daunting task because this stotra um, is so lofty and so expansive in its content so i would like to um suggest that uh, my task today will be more an invitation to all of you to study the dakshina murti stotra than actually my trying to talk on the content of the dakshina murti stotra if um, uh, we are we have to really get into the uh, depths of dakshina murti stotra obviously uh, one hour or one and a half hours is not adequate i would say that for each one of the uh, shlokas of the dakshina murti stotra uh, we would have to spend several hours just to give you uh, an insight into the enormous uh, content of this uh, the commentator on the dakshinamrita stotra uh, shri suresh acharya has written the manasolasa which has got over 300 karikas on just about eight verses so let me um, rephrase uh, the title of our talk is i would invite uh, everyone to the study of uh, dakshinamrita stotra and when i look at the uh, challenge i had of me the in terms of the loftiness of the stotra and in in terms of the expanse of the stotra i am reminded of uh, my very very favorite sanskrit poet k 
Kalidas. So he he actually says that uh, uh, which I completely agree is that this Sastotra and its meaning Ram Shulabhya, it is available only for somebody who is very, very tall. But I am a dwarf. Ram Shulabhya Phale Lobhata Uddhva Horeva Vamanaha as though a dwarf is trying to stretch his hand and jump up and down to grasp the fruit. That's exactly how I feel as far as the loftiness of this totra. As, a, as far as the expansive content of this totra, again quoting Kalidasa, I am like a fool who you wants to cross a huge ocean with a small boat. Titirshur dustaram mohat nasmi sagaram. And this is how uh, with such in amount of um, hum humbleness that I am really not competent to speak on this uh, stotra. But I am greatly honored by your invitation. Besides that, I have immense love for this uh, stotra since childhood. And that's what makes me bold to stand in front of you today. Around uh, my 10th year or so, 9, 10 years of age, we have also seen um, our children just now chant the Rakshanamurti Stotra. Likewise, 8, 10 years old, my grandfather taught me this Stotra. And then it was mandatory for us that as my grandmother was preparing to serve us food, I had to chant this uh, Dakshinamurti Stotra, uh, waiting for the service of the food that uh, uh, this totra we were chanting every single night. That is how my love for this hymn uh, was uh, started. And this is how uh, it has grown uh, over time continuously. There is a lot of uh, debate on the authorship of this uh, hymn. Uh, if you look at the scholastic circles, and who seem to take away, a lot of scholars seem to take away the charm of many, many uh, works by arguing and debating who is the author, what is the date of this uh, stotra. So for a real seeker, uh, those things are, um, okay, we will study that academically, but we will ignore. But I would like to make one comment. If you look at the content and the style of uh, presentation, one, Secondly, no one has claimed authorship of this uh, stotra. Thirdly, none other than the Sakshat Shishya of Bhagavan Shankar, uh, Adi Shankara, Suresh Vracharya has written a commentary. How can we doubt that this is authored by Adi Shankara himself? So that much is enough. No one dares to claim so Reshwar Acharya has written the commentary and the content and the style of presentation. Evidence enough that this is by Bhagavan Adi Shankara himself. So um, my subject is the religion and the philosophy. So first let us consider the religious aspect of this Totra. <clears throat> so what is this Totra? It is an act of stuti. An act of stuti it becomes a stotra, that is, use it as a prayer, use it as a hymn. And this stotra, all the stotras for that matter, the service they give us, it gives us an understanding of the devata, who this devata is and how this devata is worthy of our worship. So the devata of this totra is Sri Dakshinamurti. Then who is this Dakshinamurti? What is the definition of this word? There is a short um, Upanishad, which is not very, very popularly known. It is called as the Dakshinamurti Upanishad. The Dakshinamurti Upanishad itself defines who this Dakshinamurti is. 
क्षेमुषि दक्षिणा प्रोक्ता सा यस्य अभिक्षणे मुखम दक्षिणाभिमुखम प्रोक्ता शिव असौ ब्रह्मवादि सो द उपनिषद इज वेरी वेरी क्लियरली सेइंग शेमुषि दक्षिणा प्रोक्ता द वर्ड दक्षिणा इट मींस शेमुषि शेमुषि मींस ज्ञाना नॉलेज सो दक्षिणा एंड ज्ञाना आर सिनेनिमस सो दिस दक्षिणा ऑफ द वर्ड दक्षिणा मूर्ति यस्य अभिक्षणे मुखम अभिक्षणा मींस दिक्षेमुषि आर द ज्ञाना इज कांस्टेंटली सीन अभिक्षणा मींस कांस्टेंटली विजिबल कांस्टेंटली विजिबल ऑन द फेस ऑफ दिस मूर्ति आर दिस फॉर्म सो वी कैन कॉल इट एज स्टेजेस वी कैन कॉल इट एज वर्चस सो द मोमेंट वी विजुअलाइज द फेस ऑफ दक्षिणा मूर्ति it is not a form which has got two eyes nose ears etc but it is the very radiance of knowledge so knowledge itself is the face of dakshina murti and which can be seen all the time abhikshana so that is lord shiva's face of jnana swarupa is this the dakshina murti and not only that as uh, uh, dr prabhakar garu mentioned he is also facing the southerly direction which is dakshina abhimukha and then who identifies uh, this form it is by brahmavadi bihi brahmavadi bihi means all this jnanas so in other words as a religious symbol dakshina murti is the jnana murti of bhagavan shiva is the form of jnana of bhagavan shiva so where do we find him where do we go to find him again the dhyana shlokas talk about he is vatataror mule he is at the base he is at the uh, in the shadow of the of a banyan tree this is where bhagwan dakshina murti bhagwan shiva performs penance so if you look at shiva purana so for those of you who have access to the text it is 2240 in the shiva purana vata is at the sacred tree associated with bhagwan shiva and chitram vatataror mule he is there and look at the scene vridhaha shishya the the students are all vridha if you translate it into uh, directly it means old people but it is not uh, chronologically aged people here vridha means those who are growing vardhishnu those who are growing in their intellect those who are growing in their knowledge it can be a 8 year old boy a 8 year old girl and that girl who is interested in uh, increasing the knowledge and every day adds units of knowledge to the mind such a person is a vridha then uh, the guru is yuva is youth now there again it is not a chronological um, uh, age but it is the teaching is ever youthful it will never age it will never perish the six vikaras that are there for any form is not there for knowledge the knowledge remains ever youthful so metaphorically it the youthful imperishable knowledge is being transmitted transferred to those students who are constantly growing and it is in the vatataror mule now what exactly is this uh, vataru this huge uh, base of the banyan tree this base of the banyan tree is none other than the innermost core the guha or the um, or the cave of our own consciousness and that is where he is sitting and how is he doing it 
Mauna Vrostu Maunam Vyakhyanam. His commentary is in silence. How can any communication be effective if there is no verbal? One second, please. How can there be any communication and transfer of knowledge unless there is speech? So how do we understand this uh, mauna vyakya prakatata para brahma tattva? In silence, the great secret of para brahman is uh, transmitted. Kurostu maunam vyakhyanam. How do we understand this? What it means is this is paravak. The supreme soundless speech, the spanda, a very, very big area of Indian philosophy, the vibration of the Chaitanya of the Atman that is happening in one's own consciousness. And that Paravak is a soundless sound. And that is the Mauna Vyakya. Now let's look at the, again, in the religious aspect, we also have to see the Adhishthana or the location and the manner in which Shiva actually resides, stays and teaches. Where is he? Suppose we say Vishwanatha, we say it is in Banaras. Suppose we say Rameshwara, it is in Rameshwara. So we give a name and that name has a locus. But where is the locus? Where is this Dakshana Murti? If you look at the, the uh, various epithets of Shiva, as Bhuteshaha, that's one of the names, as the lord of the elements, he is residing not only in the uh, Panchabhutas or the five elements in the cosmos, but also he is residing in our own Annamaya Kosha, that is a body nourished by food. He resides in this Annamaya Kosha as a Bhutesha. And in that locus, he utters sounds. For example, when our uh, children and uh, Prabhakar Garu's uh, student chanted the Dakshinamurti Stotra, and we all heard, there it is the Bhutesha that is there in her Annamaya Kosha bringing out as the stotra himself as the Vangmaya Murti. So when we actually chant the mantra religiously, and let us say for each one of these shlokas, you offer a flower at the feet of the <clears throat> then <clears throat> he, you are, he is acting as the Vangmaya Murti because it is through the physical body and the sounds coming from his vocal cords that the teacher can teach. So Anna <clears throat> sustains the body with the prana. It is through prana and the mind the, can project speech. Mind projects speech aided by prana through the Anna Kosha. And thus as Pashupati, Pashu is that which has got prana. As Pashupati Murti in Pranamaya Kosha inspires the mind to project its ideas through the walk. Then he, one has to have a desire to worship. And therefore, the same uh, Bhagavan Shiva as Kameshwara Swarupa is in the Manomaya Murti. And then he inspires us to pray and to speak. And I am skipping one, uh, <clears throat> one uh, locus to come back to it. As the uh, <clears throat> Ananda Maya Murti, he becomes Mrityunjaya, and then through the jnana acquired, one conquers the fear of death. <clears throat> so let's come to Dakshinamurti. And as Dakshinamurti, who is teaching with the silence, in silence, to the silent disciples. What a scene. Shiva 
is Vijnana Maya Murti. And this as Vijnana Maya Murti, he is Dakshana Murti. And hence, Chitram. It is so amazing. This Vatataro Ramule, in the very cave of the consciousness of the meditator, who is constantly growing in his spirituality, Vridha Shishya, and teaching the ever youthful knowledge, <coughs> uh, Guru Riva, and in this uh, loc locus of uh, Vijnanamaya Kosha, Dakshinamurti is teaching in silence to the silent disciple. So this Swatavriksha is our Deha. And the root or the Mula of the Vatavriksha is our Buddhi. It is in this Buddhi that he teaches and reveals the Parabrahma Tattva. And this Parabrahma Tattva for this individual Jiva which has taken birth with Avidya and Ajnana to him, Prakatita Parabrahma Tattvam, he actually unfolds, he actually reveals the Parabrahma Tattva, the highest reality, how with his cosmic buddhi. So the cosmic buddhi of Dakshinamurti is speaking to the microcosmic avidya buddhi of the individual and then absorbs the, and removes all the avidya and then makes the meditator no different from himself. And this is the glory of Dakshinamurti. Then next question is, <clears throat> Varshishthante Sadrushi Ganaihi Avrutam. He is surrounded by Sadrushi Ganaihi. The Rushi is the great Tapasvis. <coughs> and the Stotra adds an adjective Sadrushi Ganaihi because they also can be a Dushta Rushis. Dushta Rushis like Ravana. Who can who is a great meditator, but at the same time his intentions are dushta. To him, such persons parabrahmatatva will not be available. But sadrushi ganaihi for the, those sadrushi gana, the good sadrushis, he does. Now, which are these sadrushi ganas? Who are these ganas? <clears throat> these ganas are none other than our own. Uh, Shuji, we lost audio. Uh, yes, uh, Guruji, we yeah, lost yeah. audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, we had lost audio. Then he rewind and start with Ganas. <laughs> I think that's where we lost the audio. Correct. Yeah, I was not sure where the problem was. Thanks for pointing it out. So he's joining back, hopefully. <clears throat> 